Welcome to the EEV blog. I'm your host, Dave Jones, and this is episode number nine. First up, some industry news. Uh, Texas Instruments actually just bought uh, Luminary Micro for an undisclosed sum. Now, if you haven't heard of Luminary Micro, uh, they make, they're, they're fairly new. Um, they were sort of a startup from some venture capital and um, they uh, do a range of 32-bit microcontrollers uh, based on the ARM Cortex M3 architecture. And Luminary Micro have uh, been receiving secret funding from uh, the ARM mob, um, among quite a few other players as well, and um, yeah, they've been finally bought out by TI, and it seems like a neat fit, really, because uh, TI have um, a bit of a gap in their MCU market. They do do uh, ARM micros, TI do do ARM, but uh, they're mainly for the automotive market, so they don't have that general purpose industrial um, ARM line of micros. And of course, ARM are all the rage at the moment, and, um, and ARM is set to become um, you know, the number one player in uh, embedded industrial micros, and TI want a part of that. So. Well, I think it was a pretty smart move buying Luminary Micro. It's a nice fit. The industry has predicted that uh, the MCU market will be worth uh, in the order of like $12 billion in the next year or two. And that's a, that's a huge slice of pie. And um, really, TI um, have a very, now have a very broad offering um, in the uh, embed low-power embedded industrial micros, all the way from their um, famous MSP 430 line, the ultra low power devices, uh, right up to now these 32 bit arms and of course their original DSP lines and things like that. So um, they're a really huge player now, one of the majors. Now I'm going to tell you about uh, some really cool or a really cool range of devices. And they're the, these little things, they're the, uh, they're called the Thermocron I button. And they're from Dallas slash Maxim. Uh, Maxim actually bought out Dallas quite a few years ago, but I still call them Dallas because um, I really liked the gear from Dallas. I don't necessarily like Maxim as much, so Dallas it is. Anyway, the Thermocron I button, these things are really cool. I use them a lot. They're a little, um, it's called an F5 uh, micro can or something like that. That's the actual package. And it's little more than a couple of 10 cent pieces stacked. And inside here is a 10 year lithium battery. It goes for about 10 years, it's sealed. And um, it has a, a, a temperature thermometer um, hooked onto the case. So the case is actually the, um, the actual sensor pad. And it is um, a complete data logger. You can set these things and forget them and you can log um, temperature from once per minute up to once per year and they've got 2k of sample memory in there there's other devices with more uh, but these are this is the 2k version this is the DS uh, 1921 uh, device which is their standard thing and it's a it's a temperature logger that um, goes from you know minus 40 up to plus 85 um, sort of you know the in industrial type temperature range and I use them for all sorts of things. Now, I really think these things are the duck's guts. They really are, they're superb. Because they're only about, you know, $20 each or something, and you can use them for a whole range of things. Um, one of the more bizarre uses I use them for, because they're completely waterproof, uh, waterproof, shockproof. I actually, um, this plastic thing is actually a holder. Um, it does actually, uh, it just holds the device. So there's the actual package itself. Um, and it just uh, slips into one of these holders here. And um, you can get all sorts of different holders for them, I think. But this is the carabiner attachment one. So what I do is I hook it onto a carabiner. And when I'm going out canyoning, um, which is one of my uh, pastimes in uh, summertime here in um, Sydney, Australia, I go out canyoning, which is abseiling waterfalls and uh, going through the spectacular slot canyons. And I actually clip this thing via a carabiner either onto my harness, my actual climbing harness, or um, even onto my shoe. I attach it to my shoelaces and it measures the water temperature. It logs the water temperature once per minute throughout the entire day and the air temperature as well. And it's, it's really handy. I come home, 
I upload the data into an Excel spreadsheet and I can look at uh, the temperature for my entire trip. It's great. But they also have some excellent um, engineering uses. Now I've used them for all sorts of things. I've actually uh, taped them onto um, surface mount power devices and I've logged uh, the temperature of power devices straight on PCBs. Now another thing I've used them for is I've used multiple devices and you can put them throughout say a rack cabinet if you're designing you know if you've got a big bit of gear you're designing and it's in a rack you can put these all throughout the rack in different places you can hang them via a string or tape them on the side or you can put them inside equipment and that's uh, fan cooled and you can actually get a 3D thermal profile of your of your device of your rack or your system and you can actually see how effective fans are um, and all sorts of things and they're really great for that sort of purpose. This is one of the um, serial upload cables for them. Um, this is an old one that plugs into the serial port and it's called a blue dot receptor. Um, but they've got ones that plug into USB these days. I've, I've had this one for a long time. And the device just snaps in there and bingo! You can upload it using uh, the free software they've got on the uh, website. It's actually a Java application these days but there's older versions with an, you know, an EXE and um, you can actually upload the data. It's very easy, single button, you upload it and you can export it straight into Excel and plot graphs. Fantastic! The Thermocron I button. I highly recommend you check them out and you have some of these sitting around in your desk drawer for when you need them. They're great! Now I've got another product, I'm not actually going to do a full review of it, but I'm going to mention it and it's the uh, Microchip Pick Kit 2 in circuit serial programmer. Here it is. It's great. It costs about $35. It's, you know, they're practically giving the things away. And it really is one of the um, uh, hidden gems of, you know, of uh, actually using microchip pick parts is, is this thing. It's such an easy to use tool. It's so cheap and it does, uh, it does heaps of stuff. Not only does it do in-circuit serial programming, but it does um, in-circuit debugging, full in-circuit de debugging on uh, most parts anyway. Um, but it also has a built-in power supply and um, you can use it to actually power your board. I think it's up to 700 milliamps or something like that. You can actually uh, power your board. It's powered straight from the USB. It doesn't need a separate supply. And you basically, any product you design, you put the um, microchip in-circuit serial header straight on your board and then you just plug this thing straight in. There's some other really cool things it does too. You can actually use it as a four-channel logic analyzer. There's software that comes with it. And I think you might even be able to sample up to a megahertz or something like that. But it, it can be used as a fairly rudimentary four-channel logic analyzer, which is pretty handy. And the other neat feature is this uh, push button here. You can actually, uh, this is for field upgrading. So you can actually um, program your firmware into this device. It's got its own built-in flash. And you can go out, go out to the field, plug it into your hardware, push the button, and bingo, it'll automatically program your pick in the field. This is fantastic. And uh, I don't know too many other manufacturers of micros who, who have uh, such a cheap and simple and easy to use and um, uh, really handy and versatile programmer like this one. And it's a real gem and it makes working with PIC microcontrollers a real joy. And it's better than the... Um, I've, I actually went and sold my um, ICD2 in circuit programmer because this thing for $35 and it does almost everything. It supports all their devices from their tiny 8-pin picks right up to the 32-pin, uh, uh, the PIC32 micros. It's great! This is one huge reason to choose PIC over anyone else. Now they've just released the PIC Kit 3. Um, it just came out the other month and um, there's a lot of talk about it. I haven't tried it myself. Um, but I've heard that it's not quite as good as the PIC Kit 2. It's got some advantages, but some disadvantages as well. So it's not a complete upgrade. But uh, the PIC Kit 2, you can buy them from anywhere. They're available off the shelf. 35 bucks. I highly recommend you pick one up. 